Joining me this morning, 104.5 The Team and 104.5theteam.com, it's Ian Malinowski, contributing writer to D-Rays Bay, a Rays-centered blog on SB Nation. We're talking about Garrett Whitley, the number 13 overall selection of the Rays in last night's Major League Draft. Whitley, the NISCU in a high school standout. Ian, thanks for being with us. How are you? I'm pretty good. <laughs> How are y'all? Good. So Whitley taken number 13 overall, goes to the Rays, a team that we had heard him link to a lot throughout this draft process. As someone who follows the team, as someone who covers the team, what's your reaction? I think, I think that, that all of us uh, down, down in the Rays fandom world are pretty excited about it. Um, we've been watching, watching Whitley for, for a while. He has, he's a really toolsy out, outfielder. Um, I think... I think people people believe that he's the true best player available at our spot, and, and I mean there are people actually talking about him being drafted first 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 overall. He has elite speed, elite bat speed. Um, there's a lot of development yet to happen, but but he's he has the tools to be to be a major league star. So people are pretty happy. We're going through this interview just assuming that he will sign with the Rays. Why does he fit in the Tampa system? So in baseball, you really never draft draft for need because. You have no idea what your need will be three, four, or five years later. But that being said, uh, this system doesn't have have. Uh, I'm probably being unfair to a couple of people, but this system doesn't have a single impact outfielder in it. Looking down, um, we have we have two infielders who are working out in the outfield in in, in AAA. Uh, a few a few guys who are like in the 25 to to 40 team prospect rankings. Um, spot um, in double A and, and high A, but really there, there, there's no one who you, who you can pencil in and say this guy will be a major league outfielder. So, so, so the system is completely, completely wide open for for Whitley at this point, um, and, and really the Rays will will stick him wherever they think they can, they can get him the most most playing time because because being being a player a player from the Northeast. He's behind a lot of his peers in terms in terms of reps, so, so he'll he'll probably play play in the Arizona Fall League. He'll he'll play um he'll he'll play everywhere he can to just rack in all of the reps. If Whitley does sign, what do you think the the Rays' course of action is with him this season? Will he go to somewhere affiliated, in your opinion, right away? And where might that be? If, if he signs soon enough, then. Then they'll they'll start him out in extended spring spring training. Um, after that, um, it, it's probably a toss up between Princeton um, in West West Virginia, uh, which is which is our our rookie league team, um, or they may send them to uh, short season um, Hudson Valley Renegades. I think that they will probably want want to uh, to get him more reps than just Hudson Valley would. But it's very possible he'll he'll start out right there, just 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 a short train ride down from from from, from Albany. Jamie Schultz, a player, another player from the Capital Region who's in the Rays system, currently tearing it up in Double A for the Montgomery Biscuits. What have you guys heard about Jamie Schultz, and how close are you following him? Seems like there's a good chance he could be a big league a big league asset to the Rays here, not too long. Yeah, really. Before this season, people were paying no attention to Jamie Schultz. Um, then in this past off season, the Rays, the Rays sent him to the Arizona Fall Fall League, and 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 because they did that, we we got a chance to see his stuff in front of the the like pit, the fancy pitch tracking cameras, and and the thing about Jamie Schultz is that he has a really legit fastball. Um, it's it's not the hardest fastball out there, but um, it has has just a ton of vertical rise. It has as much vertical rise as anybody pitching in the major league now. Um, there's, there's a lot that that can be that can be worked off. That he's uh, he's striking at like 27 percent of, of, of the batters he, he faces, which is which is insane. Um, the real question with him is he's walking way too many people. Um, so so if if the Rays can 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 get him to uh, to to command the zone. Just a little bit better. He'll he'll start looking like like a um, at the worst a back end reliever. But um, but all of this has to start with with actually actually commanding the zone because because he, he he's not he's not quite quite there yet. So he's flashing excitement, but he's 
he's uh he, he's very wild Ian Malinowski at D Rays Bay on Twitter joining us here at 1045theteam.com, breaking down the Rays number 13 overall selection of Garrett Whitley out of Niskew in high school yesterday, and then talking a little bit about Maple Hill product, Jamie Schultz. Ian, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Have a nice day.